Okay, all right. So naming, eh? just a quick visit of naming. Alkene, the usual rules is simple. You locate the double bond, and then your longest chain must contain the double bond in it. And you will count in a way that your double bond will get the smallest number. Everything else kind of sets after that, right? So nothing to think about um, in terms of numbering anymore. So this is always one way that you can be given. I mean, I know traditionally you only familiar looking at this when you are studying as a cis and trans. But you have to understand this is bonds. The bonds are free to move. They are all going to free. They are free to move. So if I'm saying there's a carbon here and there's hydrogen that's attached to it, it obviously is able to move in all the direction that you can think of. Right? The only thing that will prevent their movement is the, the repelling effect from one uh, by one electron uh, to another that is in the bonding. Now, uh, obviously assuming there is no lone pairs um, involved here. So the naming of this I think is pretty easy. Everybody knows this. This is ethane. So you can see there's only two carbon and there's hydrogen. How do we name this? Suddenly when people look at this, they have a problem. But if I draw it like this for you, you don't have a problem. So that's a CH3. Um, double bond, single bond to a C, double bond to another C, and then there's hydrogen here, there's hydrogen here, there's CH3 here. People usually don't have a problem with that structure. But when they look at this, they have a problem. They suddenly feel like this is something they cannot recognize. Do you realize or not? It's just some, I just have to move this, draw it like that, and move this up, and draw this, this. Hey, you get this already? Do you realize that? It's actually very, it's just perspective, okay? It's the same thing. It's just, you don't like it, you draw back in the way that you like it. it it's end of story, okay? Um, uh, it's not going to be a big deal. So, how do I name this same thing? I'm going to count one, two, three. Remember, I need to count and the chain must include the double bond, which means common mistake will be counting like this. One, two, three. What's the problem with counting like that? Yes, you see, my double bond is suddenly sitting outside my long chain. That's not okay. That's against the rules. Okay? So the double bond has to include, has to be included into the chain. So this has to be your longest chain. So now I count one, two, three, or one, two, three. Which one will I, which one I can take? Or I have to? Yes, because the double bond has to get the smallest number possible. So carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three. This becomes a side chain. Okay? So this, what is this? So this is a, the longest chain is um, three. So that's a prop. So that's a prop. One E. One E. And what would be the side chain? Methyl at carbon number two. two. All right? So at carbon number two, that will be two methyl prop one E. Okay? All right? So, can do that. Same goes to this. So, again, longest chain, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Can I do this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, the moment I do this, I'm away from the double bond. It doesn't make sense. Cannot do that. So, I can go like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or I can go in the straight chain. It's also 6. So, which do I take? In this case, it's the same. Let's assume we have a situation where it's not the same. That means when I go in a particular direction, I get one, a different side chain, and I go another direction, I get a different side chain. So which one do I take? You take the one that produces the smaller side chain. Let's assume they produce the same side chain. Then you take the one that has the smaller number in front of the side chain. Okay, that's how you decide. So, which one do we take? It doesn't matter, isn't it? So we can take this. So how do I count? From here or from there? So one, two, three. One, two, three. From the left side. Left, okay, I'll give you a choice. It's left to right, which is my left, which is left to right here, or from right to left, right, right, right. or it doesn't matter. It's right. the same. Right. Sure. So it's not, it doesn't matter. Who say it doesn't matter? Why right to left? I keep hearing right to left. Exactly. There you go. You've learned something already. So the side chain gets the smallest number. Because one, two, three, 
four. If I come from here, it's going to be one, two, three, four, and the side chain will be at carbon number four. So the name will start with four ethyl, correct? Which is not what we want. Our apex says we give it the smallest number. So this can only be counted from the right to the left. So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a um, hex three in, and you have a three ethyl hex three in. Right? Done. Clear? Okay. So 